Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? Now, we're back at it with some Minecraft. Um, you'll notice a couple things have changed. I've done a little bit of inventory management. There's still chests everywhere full of junk. Um, I've also started uh, kind of working on the mine a little bit more. I've turned it more into a quarry style because that's more efficient for hardcore, especially since I don't know the rates and everything for um, 118 yet. I've done some basic terraforming to prepare for, uh, you know, decorating, building a little bit more. i put a pier out here, I think, um, since the source village is uh, that way. Yeah, just south. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what's been going on. Uh, I'm basically just going to be digging for right now, but I'll I'll stick around on recording and uh, see see. Oops. <laughs> I gotta put fences up. See, you know, I'll I'll be back here when uh, something interesting happens, or maybe I'll just hang out here and chat with you guys. So yeah, that's what's up. I hope you guys are doing okay today. I am. Um, I have only had about a half a cup of coffee for breakfast. I'm coming fresh off of a Freddy's recording. As per usual. Um. But yeah. Oh, oh, can't, can't. Not that one. Give to me that block. It will not give to me that block. Uh, it is about to be spooky time. That is not my... There we go. Oh, man. Oh. Can tell I'm only halfway through a cup of coffee, eh? I'm actually almost done with this cup of coffee, but that, that is what it is. I'm hoping to get some more iron at the very least in this little section of quarry because I desire... Well, I've used up a lot of my iron actually when I was terraforming. Because we have pickle tweaks and you can use it to- you can just use one piece to repair an item instead of, um, rebuilding a new tool. Which, I mean, it kinda same difference, especially since it was a shovel, but, you know. But yeah. Uh, village planning and stuff is probably gonna happen some today. Like I said, I'm planning on a pier. I might do, a, like, a, a lighthouse on that little sandbar up north. Just kind of feeling it out right now. We do have enough diamonds to get uh, another portal going, but I'm afraid of another right now. So the big goal today is iron, just so that we can um, get a little bit better geared up before we move on to a different dimension. I'm gonna want quartz to build anyway, probably. Yeah. Oh, I've started thinking of the, uh, I've been working on the the ideas behind the magic system. I haven't set anything in stone yet, and I still gotta figure out a lot of coding behind it. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, so, not to spoil too much, and, you know, I don't think anybody cares right now, but, um, so... As a horror game goes, it's one of those types of games where you aren't- you aren't in control at all. Um, basically, you're just kind of along for the ride. And to kind of reflect that, right, um, I think I said in a previous episode, um, Maverick is going to be- the- the main- the main star of the show is gonna be your main way of getting rid of big enemies. You're gonna have to, like, kite them to her. Um, but, I'm thinking I'm going- I, I already had- okay, so, talking about the final boss, alright, Leader, the Lich, he is a reflection of the player, basically, um, and he can copy whatever the player does, that's- that's what I want him to do. He can copy all the player's stats and all that kind of stuff, so the more you buff yourself up, the harder he is to fight. Um, in that vein of thought, <laughs> when I'm designing the magic system, what I want to do is I want to have, um, I want to make, like, these finisher moves. So, like, each star of each area has a, a finishing move. Um, so, like, uh, not Maeve, because, uh, she wouldn't, I, her powers don't do that kind of thing. Um, 
but uh, like Major Ursa, the guy in the space zone, um, you know, it gives you a giant fire bear form or something like that. Uh, Meeksy the hare in the pirate zone, she gives you like a, a torrent shield, basically a physical shield. I want those kind of abilities, right? Legend of Zelda style, can only use them once in a while type thing, right? I want leader to be able to use them. I want it to be so that if you go the route, the easy route, so to speak, the independent route, you're gonna get wrecked in the end. <laughs> Oh, and then, I gotta show you guys later, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna publish a video on it, because that'd kind of be the first video that I publish, right? Um, so I've been trying to design a new language for one of the races, the Porcels, okay? And I think I talked about that too when I talked about Maeve. Um, so the Porcels are, um, they're not dolls, okay, they are vessels, okay? They're possessed vessels. Basically, the, the race that came before the Porcels is an ascended digital race. And when they find a criminal, a hacker, what have you, they basically um, kick them out of the hive, or kick them out of the digital space, and put them into a physical body to kind of force them to, to be inferior, basically. Um, so, the... They have their own language. The Porcels are the are the, the race of vessels, basically, are the criminals, okay? So they have their own written language, but it's not consistent. Because if you think about it, if you have a bunch of groups, they have their own like patrol officers basically. Patrol officers basically. But um the if you think about how a group of outcasts would work if they all got together, you know, either against their, their officers or against, you know, they, they gained their freedom and decided against going back to digital. Um, the, so the, the language wouldn't be consistent anyway. There is a base language that basically the court system gives them. Um, and I've been working on designing that, but in the meantime, I needed something that would be easily decipherable. So I have kind of come up with a cipher code based on binary, because if you're thinking of a digital race, of course they would know binary, you know, at a glance. Um, so it's still pictographic, and it's still, you know, kind of based on the core roots of the Porcel language. It's basically, um, if you know Japanese, uh, the Romaji characters, um, I think they're, is it Katakana? Yeah, I think it's Katakana. Um, basically, they're uh, symbols that are specialized for Romanized text. Um, basically, you pronounce everything in the same way that you would... Uh, it, it's for words that are spelt American or English that are not Japanese. Um, it's where you get stuff like Apuru, even though they have a word for apple uh, that would be in that kind of text. So it's kind of redundant, but in the scope of creating my first game, uh, since I don't know how big I'm actually going to be able to make it and how good it's actually going to be, I think this binary code is going to be way easier to figure out. And it's going to be a lot better to get people's toes dipped into the lore of the game, um, as opposed to just trying to throw a whole new language at them. Um, I'm probably still gonna put the porcel tongue, <laughs> porcel language in in the game somewhere. Um, as it is, I'm planning on having um, so kind of a rough idea of it. it. It's kind of a time management horror game. Um, the oop, my pickaxe is breaking a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, so you get to choose between one of three jobs in the complex. Uh, security, food service, and <laughs> maintenance. Um, and you can, uh, depending on, so security is, okay, food service is a day shift job. You can't go to, you can't do as many things like classes or attractions, but you have more time in the night to explore. Um, or, you know, hang out. 
um, increased relations, stuff like that. Security is a night shift job, which means you have more time for classes and stuff, but you have less time to sleep at night, basically, depending on what you do. Um, maintenance is kind of the middle ground, kind of. Maintenance is also the hard mode. Um, basically, you have you're basically on call whenever Maverick tells you there's something that needs checked out, you go check it out. Um, and it, it triggers the monster spawns, stuff like that. Um, but basically, um, there's gonna be, I've got, I've got, because this is supposed to be an all, like, it's supposed to be self-sufficient, right? It's supposed to be a city, basically. There's, like, classes, schools, and stuff for the kids. So, there is going to be, I want to plan for a class on Porcel History. And that's where I figure I'd put the cipher in. Like, on a whiteboard or something like that, or have the teacher very vaguely explain it, how it works, and then move on to a different topic. Um, but, I, so I might put some of the, the real language in there, as long as it won't throw them off. Um, but yeah. And then there's traces that it's still- I might- that might be one of the places I might also put an easter egg. I might make the cipher or something like, you know, it's me or I always come back or something like that. But the problem is, is that's not very- it wouldn't help much. Because the way I have it designed- so there's two bases and a negative base, basically, okay? So if you think of a pictographic language type thing, um, and think of binary, okay? Uh, so you have two bases, a one and a zero, and then the negative bases, you don't have either of those uh, surrounding the characters, basically. I keep saying basically, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so this language, right, um, oh, there's some iron, finally. I need to sleep or it's gonna get scary fast. Um, so you have these cores and everything, so your uh, empty vessel characters are empty vessel being zero, full vessel being one, right? So basically negative life, positive life, okay? Or no life, affirmative life type thing. Um, there's some more iron here, really? Dude. Um, Sorry, I keep getting distracted. <laughs> I'm playing Minecraft. I'm getting distracted with Minecraft. Um, so, basically, um, the way it works is a negative or a no life, uh, a zero, is basis for for physical objects. Think boat, car, um, vase, stuff like that. Uh, it's an empty vessel that has the potential to have life inside of it somewhere. Um, and that's indicated, uh, possessive, like, my car, by having both bases, stuff like that. Um, the other one, uh, the base for one is, um, uh, organic, it has life. So things like names, places, that kind of stuff would be on the other base. Um, and in between verse, in between words, your, your basic pronouns, your, um, con uh, not contractions, conjunctions. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Those are, um, those are on the negative base. So they don't, there's no base on it. Um, the problem being, uh, with doing something like it's me or I always come back is, um, it's me. There's a pronoun in there, and you would technically get it, but it doesn't have an organic character. It doesn't have it doesn't have an empty vessel character in it. So if you think about it, I would have to do something like my friend. So that would be uh, two positives, right? My friend is that'd be a zero uh, or a negative. My friend is in a boat. Or something like that so that you have both an empty vessel and a full vessel character 
um, so that the cipher could be legible, basically. Um, otherwise, they're going to try and use the same rules for the zero as is for the one, because the one and the zero have different. Uh, one goes clockwise, one goes counterclockwise. And then the negative is uh, also clockwise. So it's kind of a it's kind of a thing. And I'll, I'll, you know, proper videos and stuff will come out for explaining some of this. I don't know if I want to do like ARG type thing. I think that's kind of what I inferred I was going to do earlier. Um, chats with the park owner, stuff like that. We'll see how it goes. Um, right now everything's still deeply in planning stages, so, you know, that's a thing. Um, maintenance is going to be a fun, fun thing to do though. So, I'm debating on how heavily to, because this, this isn't going to come out this year, I don't think, probably not. If I, if I really put my nose to the grindstone, maybe Christmas. Maybe. Um, but, eh. but to be honest, I don't, I don't really care when, when I get it done. Um, it'll get done eventually. I'm still- part of the problem is is I'm still trying to relearn Blender and relearn all of my art skills that I abandoned so long ago. Because, you know, you fall out of practice with stuff and, you know, you lose that skill. So, here we is. Uh, almost a decade later. I'm trying to- trying to scratch that creative itch. So, but yeah. That's, a, that's what's up with that. I'm sorry my thumbnails haven't been very interesting to, uh, lately either. Um, I gotta get that figured out. I should probably focus fire on that a little bit. <laughs> I want this goal! Okay. Oh my gosh. Big bang. How you guys liking this series? It's just kind of a lot of me rambling, but you know, that's that's all Minecraft Let's Plays to be honest. Especially when we're solo. Just you and me, two people on a couch. That's it. I honestly kind of just record this because it's my brainstorming time. I uh, I figure if I talk to myself. I don't- see, that's the thing is I don't talk when I'm playing games. Um, I only talk when you guys are here. Um, but yeah, it, it helps me to think if I'm, if I'm speaking out loud as if I'm explaining something. Uh, that's not iron. That's iron. We've come down a good ways. Yeah, we've come down a good ways. The mineshaft is officially dangerous. I forgot to clear out the stone. Oh, I'm starting to be able to tell I haven't had breakfast. <laughs> See, kids, this this is why this is why I tell you sit up straight. Eat your wheaties. Actually, don't eat your wheaties. Greens are not good for you. But e eat your breakfast. Have something good to eat. Full and hearty. Bacon and eggs. And if you can't afford that, then you know, just take care of yourself, please. Don't don't do something silly. I used to not eat like until I was absolutely starving. But it's not healthy. Don't let your own image like your own perception of yourself determine how you treat yourself. Like just because just because you feel like you're running a little big or a little small, don't don't let that don't let that stop you from being healthy. Like if that makes sense. Don't let you hurt you. You're you're the only defense you got. <laughs> That torch back. Give me that torch back. So 
sometimes it's hard to do that, and I get that. Sometimes it's really hard to want to take care of yourself, but I mean, you know, it's it's the only body you got. And, you know, <laughs> it's important to take care of it. I'm, I'm still grappling with that kind of stuff, too. Am I being too dark? I feel like I'm being too dark. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is go get something to eat, please. Pause the video. If, if you're here, just, just take a minute. Go walk away. You know. Get something to eat. Take pause the video, okay? Take some time to really like feel out what what your body's trying to tell you. See if see if you feel hungry or if you have to go to the bathroom or if you're thirsty or anything like that. Just walk away for a minute. I'm not gonna tell you to go touch grass because that's weird. But go go get a breath of fresh air. Get up and go get that extra cup of coffee. Go, go get something to eat. I'll be here. You could come back in a week and I'd still be here. That's how YouTube works. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, uh, I've only gotten one piece of iron so far? Yeah. Oh boy. Apparently I chose the most desolate land. Is it nighttime? No, it's still daytime. I must be seeing stuff in caves. On journey map. Hmm. I might have to use my one iron ingot to repair my pickaxe, because that'd be the last of my iron. Depends. Or the one iron ore. So what do you guys- like, here, I'll ask you a question, alright? Open source, you know, gaming here. Game design. Um, if you were to go to an amusement park or something similar, Disneyland, you know, Chuck E. Cheese, an experience attraction, okay, what would be, well, let's say three things, okay? Tell me in the comments below. What would be like three things you would have to see or do or have in order to have a good time? Because my coworkers are not helpful. I work with a bunch of teenagers and they're like, oh, a roller coaster. And I'm like, duh. Specifics. I mean, my most helpful so far, like, and, and it's, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be normal. It doesn't have to be something like, you know, a specific ride, a tilt-a-whirl, something like that, you know. It can be, you know, entirely out of left field. One of my one of my coworkers told me mermaids and I came up with another race idea. Uh just just for Meeksy's Cove, just for mermaids. Um Mercy's shapeshifters or what they're called. Um So there's that. Oh yes, more iron. Yes. Um you know, one of my uh my mom actually said uh something like an AR experience. Like, uh, there's some place, I think, either out in Vegas or out in California, a hotel room with, like, a, a huge, uh, pool in the middle of the room, and there's, like, a border or something that you can see, and it, it makes a whale in the air, and the whale splashes down, and that, that causes the fountain to splash everybody, and, you know, looks really realistic. She said something like that. You know? Uh, so that, that's in the works. Um, 
But yeah, uh, I'll actually probably be releasing a map soon. A rough, a rough sketch of a map of what the area is gonna look like. Oh, is that it? Why, why all the small? Did they make it so the iron doesn't spawn anymore or something? Man, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's go ahead and make some stairs. Actually, no, let's not just yet. Because I'm doing good on resources and food and stuff, but... Yeah, if there's anything, like, even if it's far out of left field, you know, what would you want to see in an amusement park like that? I do have a roller coaster planned. It's called the Icebreaker. It starts off in the buffer zone, which is basically the entrance, and it goes around the whole park. It even dips down into the space zone. So there's there's the normal, the, the buffer zone, which is normal living American street life type attraction, basically. Um, there's gonna be food stands, normal, normal food stands for uh, your classic American type of fast food, or not fast food, uh, festival place, you know. Yeah, elephant ears, that kind of stuff. Um, there's all sorts of handicap facilities planned. Um, let's see, let's see. There's daycares. There's two whole residential districts. There's a shopping zone. Um... I don't have a casino or a bar or anything like that because it's kind of because it's supposed to be a safe space specifically for children so Mr. Anderson wouldn't approve of a bar or a casino being built inside of his place that's a whole thing when I when I get into plot yeah just just know Mr. Anderson said no no bars no no casinos no gambling no booze illegal in Featherland. Or Featherworld. Featherland? I keep wanting to say Featherland, but I think I called it Featherworld. But yeah. So just just let me know what you guys think. What, what, what would you want to see? What would you want to do? There's roller coaster. Um, there's all sorts of festival food. There's uh... So there's the buffer zone normal zone. There's Meeksy's Cove, which is the water park. There's uh, Major Ursa's Space Zone. Uh, I don't remember what I called that. It's like Connection Constellation or something like that. I don't know. Names are pending. Um, uh, and that's the Space Zone, Anti-Grav, Low Grav Zone. Uh, the Arcade has a trampoline park for navigation, or an elevator, if you can't participate. Um, the uh, let's see, there's that, there's the... The Festival Plaza, the Festival Tree, um, is kind of a neutral zone, almost? It's based off of Japan, so it doesn't have a lot of, um, attractions, so to speak. But it's got plenty of food, it's got plenty of water, it's got plenty of, uh, resting zones, basically. It's the safe zone of the game, um, because in the long run, even the buffer zone isn't safe. Um... But yeah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think... I, th I don't remember. I think I do have a zone that's specifically an amusement park. Oh, there's, uh, there's the Librarium. Uh, I think that one's... The Comforting Canopy. I use a lot of C alliteration. I'd have to look. Um, because there's the Cove, the Canopy, and the, the Space Zone. Um... But the canopy is is basically your, uh, the place where your your more quiet-minded kids would go. Um, the the people that can't handle the noise of an amusement park. Um, it, it's a big library. There's quieter attractions and stuff there. Um, you know all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think I put hush hush in there. But she's, yeah. And then Mythin, I think I named her. 
uh, there's Mythin and there's Stitchlet. Um, Stitchlet's one of the monster kind of. But yeah. And that's all she brought, kids, so we're going back upstairs. Can't believe I went all that way down and I only got three pieces of iron. Three pieces! Yeesh! Alright. Let's see, let's see. Uh, not efficient, but I don't care. I think, I think we've been going for a good little bit, so uh, I'm gonna call it there, guys. Thanks for tuning in, listening to me ramble. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more terraforming, a little bit more building, a little bit more mining. We'll see what we can get done. Um. Sorry, this hasn't been very Minecraft-based, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna go get me some breakfast. See ya!